Hey guys, it's Devin from the Diecast Dudes, and today I will be showing a 2008 NASCAR Cup car and a 2009 Car of Tomorrow NASCAR Cup car, both driven by Martin Truex Jr. Well, first off, these cars belonged to DEI or Dale Earnhardt Incorporated, and um, the team has since shut down, and Martin Truex Jr. has gone to drive for a different team, uh, Mark Furniture Row Racing. But, anyways, as you can see, the paint scheme is different. You know, Bass Pro Shops has the same main sponsorship and uh, Tracker Boats as their secondary sponsor. But they have two diff very different body styles. First of all, one of the main changes is the Chevy switched manufacturers. They went from the Monte Carlo, Carlo SS to a Impala SS, the SS standing for Super Sport. But now for the body type, as you can see on the 2008, there is no there is no splitter. It's just it's flat. But on the 2009, it's got a big splitter, bigger than they are today actually. And uh, you can tell that you know the whole the whole car has a just uh, more of a square look to it because, you know, it's more aerodynamic sensitive. And as we go down the side, uh, you know, the, you know, drive, teams like to call the, this thing on the side here the shark fin, because it's just so big and it sticks up. That does affect performance, you know, good or bad, depending on how you, how, what you do with it. And on the 2008 model, it's there, you can barely see it, at all you know same length just you know it's not really there and to the back of the car the uh the bump on the 2008 the car has got a you know just a spoiler regular spoiler there's supposed to be a split right here in the middle uh, that uh, affects aerodynamics and on the 2009 it's got a big wing a very big wing and uh Drivers actually did not like this wing. They they preferred the uh, 2008 model actually, you know, because it affect performance in a bad way. You know, they didn't actually like the whole car because you know the splitter, uh, like I said, the shark fin, just the whole body changed, and uh, that you know that did not help drivers or their comfort with the cars or their racing ability or the racing ability that the drivers had. Um, yeah, but the car tomorrow has since not been re re driven since uh, 2010, I believe. And they've gone on to the Gen 6 model, which is a car that's, you know, also aerodynamically sensitive. But that's all I have to say for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Uh, goodbye.